For more on all of this, we have Negar Mortazavi in the studio. She's a diplomatic correspondent for The Independent. Um, Negar, great to have you back. What's the link between Iran's space program and its ballistic missile program? Well, this is an accusation that's coming from the United States. We're not sure if it's going to be a completely accurate accusation as the Trump administration has made these accusations, the similar accusations in the past two years, including the fact that Iran is violating the terms of its nuclear deal while the UN nuclear watchdog has been reporting that Iran is actually complying with the terms of the deal. And of course, the Iranians deny that this has anything to do, the, state, the satellite program has anything to do with the ballistic missiles program. So it's a blame game that's going on both sides. None of the two sides, frankly, should be trusted. But um, as far as evidence, we haven't seen anything concrete from the U.S. besides accusations. So if the U.S. is saying that this is a violation uh, of a U.N. resolution, why act unilaterally with these sanctions? Why not go through the United Nations? Well, the U.S. doesn't have its closest partners on board with these accus accusations against Iran. And the Security Council resolutions that the U.S. is talking about are, in fact, the ones that endorse uh, the, endorse the historic nuclear negotiations and the nuclear deal and the removal of the United Nations sanctions against Iran. And we know that President Trump pulled out of the nuclear deal last year, calling it the worst deal ever. So it's a way of a, a, a game that the U.S. is playing that they wanted to pull, to be basically out of this nuclear deal. But then at the same time, they want to use the mechanisms within the deal or the U.N. to try to pressure Iran and at least the European partners and, of course, Russia and China, their signatories to the deal, haven't been really on board with the U.S. when it comes to this issue. The U.S. has, has continued uh, hitting Iran with these debilitating sanctions. Um, do we know what impact this latest round of sanctions is going to have? Um, it, it's still, we have to wait and see. There are a couple of research centers and also Iran's space agency, which are categorized under the technology, the Ministry of Technology, and also one of them is under the Ministry of Science and Education. So we have to wait and see how much this is going to affect, uh, because the way the Iranians also design these programs is they, with, with the um, thought of these U.S. sanctions ahead in the future. We have to wait and see how the sanctions are going to play out, but at least it's something, the, the space program has been something the Iranians have been promoting as a pay, token of, um, you know, national pride and patriotism, and I don't think they're going to end it anytime soon. Well, we know that there's uh, a lot of countries right now beefing up their space programs, including the United States, uh, as they say, the next big battles going to be up there, but um, Negar Mortis Zavi, appreciate you being with us. Thanks Thank for you. that.